And here we go. I hope you're hungry for nothing. Get ready to fly. Afternoon, evening, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, uh, this video is getting uploaded now. I had to ref at Dakota, which was exhausting because it was three on three with no icings, and I'm not even going to get into it. It was the highlight, the highlight of my day, though, because oh boy, did this game freaking suck! Jets lose six to three to the New York Islanders, the desperate, down and out New York Islanders. I don't know what it is. Is it something with this road trip? Because every goddamn season, last season was derailed by this road trip. I was there. I saw it get derailed. I saw the train go right off the tracks. And right now it feels like we are getting a very rough reminder of what happened last year. Jets lose their second in a row, which normally wouldn't be a big problem. Except for the fact that every single goddamn team in the Central Division is trending upwards except for your Winnipeg Jets. I am concerned. I am legitimately concerned. Nashville hasn't lost in a month. Um, cleanly in a month. Colorado and Dallas are keeping pace and have these easy games. I think Dallas' next game is like San Jose. They have like San Jose and Arizona. We still have to play Washington tomorrow. Another morning game, by the way. So that's that this that video is not going up till five. Whoever's idea it was was to have two matinee games back to back before one o'clock. No. Absolutely freaking not. Let's get into this nonsense. The first period is bad. The only period I liked of this Jets game was the third period. And if you win 20 minutes of a hockey game, it means absolutely nothing. It means nothing. Jets played for 20 minutes out of a 60-minute hockey game. The first period is rough. So rough that at one point we have, I think, we scored our first shot of the game, I think, uh, 10 minutes in, Vlad Nemesikov off a tipped uh, pass uh, from Dylan DeMello off Morgan Barron to Vlad. He gets a goal back. Nice to see for Vladdy, but... The team just isn't in the game at all. Um, it's one of those things where I could, you could just feel it. Like every goal that went in, it was just like, damn, damn, another dagger to the heart. And they just weren't competing. They just weren't competing. They had at one point five goals against and had like five shots. What's the fucking excuse for that? The shot count was 21 to three, 21 to three. That is a that is a football blowout. That never less a hockey game shot count. Holy crap. It was they it was 6-1 after the second period. In a game like what like, Moose Watch, like what time is it? It's Moose Watch time here. Moose Watch! Oh. This will be a nice little break from the action. Uh, Moose are playing right now. They're tied 2-2. Two to two. Uh, I believe Capobianco and Parker Ford have the goals so far. We'll know later if they won or not. Um, you could just check online as well, because I don't know if I'll be able to edit this video. Because I'm recording this before I leave the goddamn parking lot. Like, Dakota's right there. Dakota Arena's right there. Um, but, uh... Also, a little bit of an odd update. Uh, Wyatt Von Giovanni, who got traded from the Mantle Moose, uh, got his first goal as a Belleville Senator uh, the other day, uh, yesterday, um, and his only and only his second game. So good, good for him. Good for him. Oh, Moose just got. A, oh, thanks, Dave Minuck. Uh Moose Jeffrey Vial gives the Moose a three-two lead. Wow, what timing, lads? What timing? Um, yeah. Hope their day goes better, cause wow, that would be a nice little bright spot in a. In a field of misery. Um, here are the reactions. Uh, here are the goals highlights here. 39 points on the season for Chibrikov. He'll move it back to the line. Marteau, Capobianco starts to dance. Moves to the middle of the ice. Drags into an open spot. Now he shoots and he scores! Kyle Capobianco! What a goal! And the Moose have a 1-0 lead. 
to Delby, down low, pass in front for Reichel, and he scores! Christian Reichel, it's a power play goal, and the Moose have a 2-0 lead. He's got the puck again, stuffs it, scores! Jeffrey Vial, the sharp angle shot! Yeah, and that was Moose watch. Now let's get into the third period. I didn't watch the third period. I turned off the radio at 4-1. I turned it back on when I was getting dressed in the dressing room and it became 5-1. And I thought to myself, what's the point? As they say in fencing, what's the point? Um, uh, I just, I don't, I don't know what you're supposed to do. I just don't. Like Cole Perfetti gets the monkey off his back. Great, great. Uh, they had to pull Hellebuck in the second period. You, j you gotta pull Helly. Helly hasn't been pulled since, um, last time he was pulled was last year in Colorado. Um, you gotta pull him here. It's just, I wouldn't be shocked if he, why is this dude standing on, on, on a railing? Get down from there, sir. Get down from there. Be careful. Um, but you gotta pull Helly. I'm curious to see if he plays tomorrow. I'm also curious to see if, just a random fact, not that we're in the running for the Jennings after giving up like back to back uh four and six spots but um does this count as a game for LB does this count as an L as a Lauren Brassois game I'm I'm curious uh I I I I I would I would say he's playing tomorrow except for the fact that Helly got pulled today so I don't know this might be they might need to give Helly that boost they're playing a very desperate Washington team tomorrow so let's hope they show up um Miss Manitoba moments here women women Women! 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 We have no Miss Manitoban moments. I we we've got nothing. There's there's a game later today and tomorrow. Actually, it might have actually already happened, and I'm just I'm behind. It's just the fact that it's just been I've been waiting pretty much just for Stop having because I was hoping they'd have a game yesterday, but they don't, uh, which is unfortunate. But oh well, it is what it is. There's like a family gathering in front. Holy crap! I did not know this was a popular parking lot. Um. <clears throat> anyway, but um, no, I'm pissed. This game sucks. This game is awful. This game is horrid. Can we get it together, please? Because the rest of the central is getting it together. I would like to at least have home ice advantage. You don't need to shoot for the moon here. You don't need to win the division. I'd like you to. But if you could at least beat out Dallas for second spot, please, please do that. God, what were your guys' thoughts on this game? Thanks so much for watching. I know this was kind of a, I don't want to say it was a half-assed video. It was just, was this worth my time? No, it wasn't worth any of our time. None of our time. But yeah, I'm going to go home now. I'll see you guys later. Leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Later tomorrow, because I work again. Come on, Nicola Anders. Chips it through.